Right, I've got no time to explain, but Lloyd's just turned up. Hello, Lloyd. We're late for an appointment at Chepstow. Bev's got to get her braces tightened and stuff. We were just about to leave and Lloyd turned up and I was like, ah, oh, Lloyd, do you want to come to Chepstow with us? I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Apparently he said after watching yesterday's video, I seemed really depressed, so he thought he'd cheer me up. Ah. Bloody horrible weather today. I hope it stays like this for the Ryder Cup. Right, we're here, bugger off. <laughs> I'm joking. What's he going to do? Is he changing the elastics? I think so. Okay. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Jesus Christ, Lloyd, would you jump in a grave as quick? I was going to take Lloyd into the dentist as well, but I thought it would be dangerous for his health. Lloyd, look at me. Smile. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Lloyd and his poor teeth. He's scared of dentists and he's got an appointment on the 14th, so he's going to get it all fixed up then. As we were in Chepstow, do you want to go and see Susan Big Tits? Susan Long Tits. <laughs> yeah, when Bev's out the dentist, we're going to go and see Susan. She's got problems with her camera. She can't focus it or something. So we're going to say hi and get some food or something. Bev's been in there a while. And look at the state of the rain. It's horrible outside. And I've just spoken to Susan by text. She's waiting at the pub in Chepstow. Hello, Poppet. She's back. How's your tea fees? Good. Why did he give you rabbits? What's this all about? Are they elastic bands or something? Yes. Oh. We're off into town to see Susie Pie Big Tits. Yay! I'm sure Tesco's won't mind if we park in their car park for a couple of hours. Ah, we're getting wet and it's cold and my phone's getting wet. This isn't good. There's Susan, look. Hello! Hello. For some reason this pub always reminds me of Gemma Tremlett. Yeah. Susie Pie's got problems focusing her camera, haven't you? Yes, I have. Are you going to buy us all food, Lloyd? No, he's not. <laughs> I use my tits. Your, your tits? What about tits. your tits? Oh, right. The bins have gone up to order some food. I'm getting some vegetarian sausage and mash. Mmm, it's tasty here. What'd you get, Beverly? Carbonara. What'd you get, your old wench? Sausage and mash. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! <sighs> I'm fat now. I wish I hadn't have eaten that. I said something in reaction to what Sam said earlier, and I don't think I should have said it. Susan Long Tits. <laughs> Stop staring at Susan's tits. Not staring. Yes, you are. Stop not it. Sharing. <laughs> yeah, I know I said I was full up, but I think I could make some room for these. Oh, suck. <laughs> What's the cleverest idea I've ever had? <laughs> we totally agree with you. <laughs> We're going to walk up and down Chepstow High Street. What? Let's just check out some of the second hand shops, see if they've got any photo albums. That's a fantastic cup. It's for me, really. We're looking for some old photos or slides or films or something. You old housewives found anything of interest? Oh dear. Blah, I'm feeling rather lethargic today. We're going to go home now, stop off a farm or something, apparently, Lloyd's telling us. So, what's this place called then, Lloyd? Uh, it's called uh, Alan and Sills Farm. <laughs> the Skaghead says it's about 20 minutes away, which means we're going to have to stop and get petrol, I think. <laughs> What the hell is After that? 400 yards, turn right, then go around the roundabout. Jesus Far Christ, Lloyd, that is scary. Oh, I've got no idea why I feel so wrecked today. Lloyd, you're going to pay for the petrol, it's your trip. More money wasted, but Bev got me chocolate. And Red Bull. Ooh, look at that, Susan's in front of us. Hello, Susan. Flash, 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 flash. Turn right. Turn right. Here. Yeah. Lloyd Satnav is taking us deep into the heart of the country. Oh, Lloydy Lloyd, where are you taking us? I feel like I'm in middle America or something, hillbilly town. Lloyd has brought Bev and I to this farm. I have God knows why, and it's in the middle of nowhere. And he's just run in to ask them if we can go have a walk around and have a look at it. I don't even know why we're here. I don't understand any of this. So Lloyd, what's the score? What's this place all about? What are they called? Yes, this is a, a farm which I think is a, a unique and I've got permission to show you around the farm. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think this is quite incredible that he takes us to places like this. We get to see parts of Wales I've never seen before. <laughs> it's a fast dog. Look at these big old geese. Look at it go. It's a really eclectic, run-down farm. I love it. Loads of photographic opportunities. I've got my camera. Oh my good God! There's a room full of turkeys in here, Lloyd. 
I guess they're getting fattened up for Christmas. We're inside now and I'm getting sad because there's dogs here and they look upset. Hello. Oh. I'll stroke here, little flea ridden thing. I think it's 15 years old. 15, wow. Oh, it's really caged up. Lloyd says it goes out for walks and stuff though. Look at this yard. We've got old tractors and all sorts of machinery everywhere. Lloyd says they have no rubbish collections here, so they just burn it. So you're telling me that two brothers run this farm. Yeah, it's three. in the middle of nowhere. Three brothers. Three brothers, but two live on the farm. And it's in the middle of nowhere, in Wales, with all sorts of animals around. Nobody knows where it is. Cool, blimey. This place is like my dad's old yard, multiplied by a hundred. What an absolutely beautiful view. We're just wandering back down now to have a look at the livestock, the pigs apparently, award-winning pigs. Beverly, yeah. this is the sort of forge you want. Yeah. What are we going into now? Pigs, bloody hell, it's pigs! Aggressive pigs. Oh God, this smell is gonna make me beautiful. These are some really big piggies. Hello piggies, it's not very nice you're all in there on your own in the dark, is it? They are really, really pink pigs. They're being kept indoors, aren't they? I didn't realise animals existed that were that big. Jesus Christ almighty, look at the size of them. They're taller than me, oh. And these are gonna end up getting turned into bacon, are they, Lloyd? Are you meant to be feeding them bread? I'm feeding them to make them more active. Do you fancy a McDonald's now? Hello, I've got a friend that looks like you. She's called Michelle McGrath. They were very, very messy in there. I don't like it very much. You are insane. What are we looking at next? Um, the aggressive geese. The aggressive geese? Well, I'm just following Lloyd. I'm a bit hesitant. A little bit scary. <laughs> It's really nice you showing us around this, Lloyd. I'm enjoying it, sort of, in a weird way. Over here we observe the daddy geese. You know what, Lloyd's right about this place. It really is unique, very strange. Lloyd, you told me they were aggressive geese. What are you doing? Lloyd, don't make him angry. <laughs> they look like you when they run. <laughs> Walking up to the farmer's house now, all past it. This is amazing looking old building, like two or three hundred years old here. Oh, what's this little Jack Russell? It looks human. Lloyd, there is a toad in the dog's water. It's still bloody alive. Well, of course it's alive. It's in water. It's meant to be in water. That's a pretty prehistoric tumble dryer. There is a chicken. I would like a chicken for our back garden. Can we steal the chicken? Yes. I'm not going to show you through the windows of their house because I'm a bit mean, but let's just say they need a woman around the place. So Lloyd's just opened this garage thing here. It's quite nice light in there. Tell us about it, Lloyd. Um, the, the farmer's father, who once lived here with them, died in here. And the, the farmer who you saw, which is Cyril, physically dragged him, didn't carry him, physically dragged him out of here, up to the front of the house, up those steps, up to the front of the house, so that the cook could see... Could, uh, try and save him, but it was too late. I don't know where he was buried. It could be anywhere in this farm, actually. Incredible place. Let's get out of here. Lloyd invited us to come down and stay here the night. Oh, those pigs. I felt bad for the pigs. That was fascinating. I can't work out if we're in reality or they're in reality. It's very, very strange. Completely different way of living. I really need to get away from here and escape properly to the cinema, babe. Okay. Hey, what's this? I'm pulling over. I'm a bit concerned. Why is there a security van parked there at the side of the road? Lloyd, I think I know why. why? There's a man asleep in the cab. Have a look. We got out, thought someone had stolen the thing or something. We were like really curious. We go in there, someone's just having a nap. Lloyd took some photos of him and startled him. He's woken up, I think he's just about to drive off. Yeah, it looks like he did oversleep. He's driving off now. How strange. We've probably worried him quite a lot, actually. 
There's something that certainly doesn't seem right about parking on the job of a security van like this. Actually, not cinema, I've got a chess club tonight. Oh, what do I want to do? Do you want to go to cinema or chess club? First off though, I stink of farm and I want to get back and have a shower. We're back home now and old dear, look at the state of Lloyd's car. What the hell has he done to it here? How come I didn't see that tree? <laughs> So, after last night's chess fiasco, we're going to go see the cinema, aren't we? Yes. Thanks for taking us that far. Thanks for hanging around today, Lloyd. I've missed you the last couple of weeks. <laughs> I know I went and saw it a couple of days ago, but we're going to go and see Dinner for Schmucks. Because I went on my own and Bev didn't come with me because she was ill and I thought it was really good and she'd like it too. Why does he listen to loud music like that? He's deaf. The movie starts in 10 minutes and it's about two hours long, so we're not going to be able to go to chess club afterwards. I don't care about the trailers too much. I saw them all the other day, didn't I? Oh, it's quite busy for middle of the day. Here we go, a bit of deja vu. First time I've seen a film twice at the cinema since Titanic. Oh dear, I should have admitted that, should I? Please turn off your phone. Lol, 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 Steve Carell's funny. Well, what do you think? I loved it. Go and see dinner for schmucks. <laughs> oh, I thought she liked it. Look, it's dark outside again. Oh, yes, very, very funny. Funny even the second time. Gonna have to see something else now next week. I hate that it gets so dark so early now. I've usually got two hours more worth of filming to do from now. What are you doing, you prick? I'm gonna get indoors quickly. Because indoors, I've got light. See, it's much brighter. Beverly's just putting in her elastic bands that she got at the dentist today. Are they in there? Not yet. <laughs> I also want to show you this. Chris and Carla have moved out. Aww. It's a shame we didn't get to say goodbye, but they've gone. They left about four o'clock while we were still on that farm. And you know that gift I bought them yesterday? Well, this morning I decided to get up and come up the stairs. Knock on their door. And surprise them with it. And they seem really happy and I hope they are. I hope they're going to be really nice in their new place. Thank you. And we got you all the best food as well. Yeah, God, that's Aww. a party. I haven't partied in years. I know. And they left us with a bottle of wine, which I'll crack into later, I should think, after I've finished you. And Thomas, if you're watching, this is going to be your room in about two or three days when you get here from York. I'm looking forward to seeing you, mate. And Leanne, who's staying there, is moving out on Friday, so it's going to be an empty house until then. Here's the wine we were given. Bev, do you want some wine? Oh, no, you can't have any. You're brushing your teeth. Oh, I have to have it all myself. <laughs> Show us your toothy pegs, then. Hello. Is that how wide you can open your mouth? Good. Quite a few nights for me, then.